And joining us live in studio is a young man from Clarksville, James Ison, a local musician. We've had him on the program before, but he's back with a new album coming out. And good morning, James. How's it going? I'm great, Matt. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, and I'm glad to have you back on the show again. Tell us, you've got a new album out. Uh, what What's the album's name? The Smaller Picture. The Smaller Picture. Now, why'd you call it that? The Smaller Picture, um, based around the idea of moving away from the orchestral concept of my last album into solo piano once again. Okay, so for people who don't know, you've been uh, been at this for, for quite a while. How old are you? 17 right now. How long have you been doing music and recording music? Uh, we're coming up on seven years of piano and about four of recording. Okay, so you've been playing and uh, you know performing for... You know, since you were 10 years old, you've been recording for the last uh, few years. Why, why is this something you're passionate about, James? Um, the passion really comes from the natural joy I find when performing and writing music, improvising. Yeah, so how do you write music? The basis of all of my writing comes from sitting down and improvising. Um, one of the big things for me is just being able to express my emotions through the music. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the songs on the album is completely based off of a time when I was frustrated about one thing, and it became this masterpiece that I'm very proud of. So, you know, you, you capture these emotions and you improvise. How, how do you, I mean, how do you then go back and do you, do you record it, go back and then start jotting down all, all the notes, or is it just something that, that you just memorize, James? So after the improvisation process, um, I'll either, you know, if I really like something, I'll go and write it down on paper or record it into my phone, you know, sing it, or I can just uh, start recording into my workstation right away. How do you know you're not just, uh, you know, getting a melody in your head that you heard from Bon Jovi or, you know, something else? Right. Well, you know, that's the thing. I really don't. Um, so sometimes there is stuff that seems very familiar, and I'm very cautious with that mm -hmm. um, because I don't want to step on other people's toes. And I go through a process of trying to find uh, other music that's similar to it if I do think that um, I have copied something else. So other than solo piano, how would you uh, describe this new album? I would describe it as... Um, you know, a uh, back and forth between the soft emotional side and then the large, grand sounding, you know, orchestral pieces that were written in an orchestral mindset, but slimmed down to just the solo piano. Okay, so it's an instrumental uh, album, though, right? Yes, it's just solo piano. But... Okay. So how do you get across emotions with just... A piano, because so often uh, you know there's there's lyrics that go along that tell people what they should be feeling, and and you know accompanying that instrumentals. How do you do it just with your fingers on keys? One of the big things I focus on is maximizing the amount of the amount of notes I play in a specific way to allow for a full sound and a lyrical sound while still using the simple aspect of just piano. When did you realize you were good? Maybe from in the first year of starting. Um, my first piano teacher was starting me off with the simple stuff, and I wanted to learn a Van Halen song right off, off the bat. <laughs> you and didn't go Mary Had a Little Lamb first? No, no. I wanted to learn the song, and she, I brought it to her one day, and she said, this is way, way, way above your level. She said, slow down. We got to work on this other stuff first. And, but did you get to that? I mean, how long did it take you to get to that song that you wanted? I started in October and I picked that song out in probably November. So do the you, beginning. are you a, a, someone who can read music very well or are you, you just someone who just, just understands the keyboard intuitively? Those people that, that do it by ear. Yeah. Kind of both for me. Um, I started out really doing it by ear. But then I moved into uh, the sheet music side of things as well as time went on because my next teacher would, you know, teach me all of the music theory and how to sight read, all of that stuff I needed. How do you feel you've grown in the last four years of recorded music, James? 
Well, um, one of the big things I think I've grown in is my songwriting, um, how well I write a song. Okay. Um, I moved from, you know, my early songs were kind of repetitive and, you know, would repeat a lot the same same ideas over and over in the song kind of moving around but now i'm moving towards something where i want to focus on changing it up throughout the song and making sure that i'm not repeating myself too much again uh, james eisen uh, from clarksville joining us he's got a new album out and uh, you guys um, we, we want to pick this up where can they pick up the album Right now, you can purchase an album by messaging me uh, on Facebook or uh, through my email, uh, or you can submit a form for a purchase on my website, www.jameseisenmusic.com. And how do you spell Eisen for people who don't know? A-I-S-S-E-N. Okay, so jameseisenmusic.com. And is- then you can also pick up an album from the This and That Vintage Store in Allison or the West Music Store in Cedar Falls. Okay, so those are places you can get the music. Talking with James Eisen, young man from Clarksville, has got another album out of instrumental music. And what's the goal with your with your career here? I think the major goal right now is getting to a point where I can make it a career. It's my full time job to be able to do music, whether that's sitting behind a desk and recording other people or performing live myself and being able to write music. I think the the major goal for me is just being able to have a career in music. You mentioned Van Halen. Who are your influences? My biggest influences, um, based off of Mannheim Steamroller, mm-hmm. uh, Van Halen. And then uh, in the past few years, I picked up uh, interest and love for the band Dream Theater. Okay, so then uh, you, you you may be an influence to somebody someday. Have you ever thought about that, James? You know, that's a, that's a great thought. And I, I hope that would be the case someday. All right, James Eisen is with us. Again, now the name of the album and where people can get it. The Smaller Picture is available on my website, www.jameseisenmusic.com, or in store at West Music in Cedar Falls or the This and That Vintage Store in Allison, Iowa. And James Eisen music fans, uh, stick around. You may have a bit of a surprise coming up in a bit. But uh, James, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Again, that's James Eisen talking about his new new album. This is The Breakfast Club.